Hey, Master Gardeners, I brought my local girlfriends in here to help you identify grasses because these two really know how to identify these particular grasses. My dog even knows how to identify this particular grass because everybody likes to eat it. It's called orchard grass. So named because every, all the animals, it's even called cat grass because animals love eating this grass. It's an excellent forage crop. It's not a native grass to the United States, yet it is dispersed throughout the United States. And the one we're gonna be looking at is up front here. Here's, here it is. And it has a bluish green color. It's about three foot in height, actually can go three to five feet in height. And it has real tight spikelets on top. Now, you know in the naming system that Carolus and Linnaeus designed, everything is grouped by the type of flower that it has on the top of it. And so does a grass have flowers? Yes, this is actually called a flower. It is in the angiosperm area. Does it have a petal on it like you traditionally think of? No, it doesn't. Does it have a sepal? No, but it has the important parts, the male and the female parts. And it's a heavy, 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 prolific pollen producer. And anybody with allergies knows when grass season occurs because they have to make prolific amounts of po pollen because they have to depend on the wind to spread that pollen. You're not in the movie, please. Back up, back, 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 good girl. So they make lots of pollen to do that. Now to identify your grasses, this is called, an inflorescence is the technical name because the flower has multiple parts on it. So we look at this one piece to identify the flower. So come on, let's look up close. I also want to show you the blue green color. So, because that's what I think my horses know the best. Here's the flower. There's the flower seed head. If you want to take a plant to the extension office and have it identified, always bring the flower. It's very hard to identify a plant without the flower blossom on it. The other way that grasses are identified is by looking in where the leaf, here's the leaf blade, where the leaf blade meets the stem. We call this lower portion of the leaf we call that the sheath where it meets. And we're gonna look at one up close and then you can sort of see a little membrane sticking up right there. That's called a ligule. And that's very helpful for identification when you don't have the flowers. We call this region where the leaf blade meets the stem that's on my finger there. That's actually called the collar of the grass. But grasses are tough to ID. So let me zoom in on it up close here. Oh, it blew away. You rascal. It blew into the wind. Let's grab another one. Let's grab this one. Come on over here. Let's take a look. Oh, look. Look who's on it. It's cicada season here in Maryland. We're in the end of May. This is the holiday weekend. And these little guys are everywhere. So I'll give you a frame of reference. So here's my leaf blade. There you can see, look at that ligule. See that little membrane sticking up? So that's one of the characteristics that we look at up close for identifying your grasses. And then on these two points, on the right of the collar and the left of the collar, think of it just like a shirt with a collar tips on it. Well, the tips of the collar are called oracles and they can be all different shapes and they can be pointy, they can be fringed with hair. And the same thing is true of these ligules. Some of these ligules are rough some of them are smooth. Let's take another look at a ligule down at this end. There it is. These have already begun to dry off a little bit, but they're very long membranous ligules on this particular grass. But that's the detailed region, the collar, that you need to know for identifying grasses. Grasses are tough, tough to identify. But those are kind of the beginning of taxonomy, and it's this blue-green color that you notice another characteristic we learn when we're studying grasses, like here's the node, you see the little knobby sections? That's the node region where the leaf of the grass attaches. But this blue green color, and this one happens to be round. I can roll it in my fingers. And the other characteristic of your orchard grass is it's folded. See how it's grooved? There's a groove down the center of it. See how I can fold the grass in half? So those are all different characteristics that they'll put into the books to help you identify. And you'll always see a zoom in, like in weeds of the Northeast, you'll see them zoom in on that particular ligule. Can you see it there on my finger? 
that ligule sticking up, that little flat membrane. So those are some helpful tips. Grasses are super hard to identify, but there's at least the beginning of it, Master Gardeners.